Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, my name is Miguel Fuentes and I'm the uh, founder of the Kingdom of Faith Outdoors channel. So today we're going to do something different today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the family of dogs or the family of dog-like carnivores. Um, and uh, before we get started, let's go, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Father, Lord. We pray that you would help us, Lord, to understand the the animal kingdom, you, your part of creation, Lord, and that you created these these beasts, Lord, to roam the lands that we live in, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your 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 creation. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have made. We thank you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen and amen. So, these are the family, uh, the, the families of dogs. And uh, a member of this family is called a canine. And there are some, uh, you know, th th this includes like domesticated dogs, uh, which we're not going to talk to it today. Wolves, coyotes, foxes jackals and other species and could be found in every continent except Antarctica of course and uh and God created dogs during the days of you know when God created the heavens and the earth he created every beast and every creature that is living you know today and so you know, I believe that that um, you know, I be I believe that they were established during the days of Adam and Eve, um, and also we we, we see um, uh, what's it called we we see uh, you know prehistoric dogs as well that got created during the time of Adam and Eve. <clears throat> uh, So let's take a look at the uh, taxonomy of dogs. Now, the word taxonomy is the study of how creatures are being identified, um, and uh, we now we know uh, if you see the scientific classification on the right side, we see the kingdom uh, anima, uh, the Flyomen is uh, Cardata, and the class is uh, uh, Mamma, in the order of Carnivora, kind of, kind of, kind of and uh, the family of Canine, and and there are some genus that goes along with it. Um, dogs are are very very unique animals and um you know we we have dogs that are domesticated um some dogs um uh, you, you know what interesting you know the, the, there are some some dogs are um either go through packs like uh the uh the d holes or the uh the advocate and painted Hunting dogs, um, sometimes oh the gray wolves rather hunt in packs, uh, but some like jackals are uh, more you know by themselves. Uh, we know that they are uh, communi you know they, they communicate through growls, barks, howls. Uh, there are some you know scent uh, scent scents. Like uh, they will mark the territories and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So they reproduce. Um, at least uh, some species. You know, depending on what what species, some species of dogs can. Um, um, as it says right here, small and medium-sized canines have the uh, gross. Go station period of 50 to 60 days, while the larger ones 60 to 65 days, which is uh, 
which is does a long, long time. Um, let me see here. So let's take a look at the uh, the uh, the qualification of these. So we have uh, the true the tribe of true dogs, um, and then we have the genus Candis. Uh, if I pronounce it right, six species. Uh, genus Codon, one species. Uh, yeah, so some of these uh, uh, genuses is hard to pronounce. All right, let's take a look at first our uh, first one. This is the uh, short-eared dog. Uh, Belong to the genus uh, Acantinus, if I pronounce that right. Um, we can find these do uh, dogs in western Amazon rainforest in South America. Can grow up to 28 to 39 inches. Uh, their habitat, they like wetlands, forests, and uh, savanna. And uh, their diet is like fish, insects, and small mammals, sometimes fruits, birds, and crabs. And they are nearly threatened, which the population is unknown. So they're, they're very near threatened to extinction. <clears throat> Next, we have the genus Canis, the African wolf. Uh, you can find this in north, north, in northeastern Africa. Uh, they have uh, their their size is like thirty nine inches. They have that it's grassland, shrubland, and savanna. Their diet is basically wild boar and livestock, as well as other mammals and fruits. And these are least least concerned, meaning they have enough population to survive. Um, we got the coyote. Lives in North America, uh, very very famous. Um, now I will I will say this: uh, all mammals carry rabies. All mammals. Uh, we don't see birds having rabies at all. Uh, except for the opossum, the Virgin, sorry, the Virginia opossum, which the that's the only marsupial and mammal that does not contract. Uh, rabies because they lower their temperature so that the, the virus does not affect them and uh, they're they're at least concerned uh, it can uh, the size is up to 39 to 50, 53 inches uh, their habitat is like forest desert shrubland and grassland and their diet is widely vary from food from both small and large mammals, fruits and insects. Now we know you know the the decimatic uh the decim the the uh what's it called the decimated uh, dogs is world found worldwide uh various breeds um diet varies alright here's the uh, the Ethiopian wolf, uh, only found in the Ethiopian highlands. And they only found in, um, yeah, Ethiopia, in the highlands of Ethiopia. Their size is 30, 33 to 39 inches. The habitat is inland, wetlands, grasslands, so, uh, shrubland, and rocky areas. Uh, the the diet is rodents as well as other small mammals, and they are endangered under 200 species left in the wild, which is very very unfortunate. Next, we got the golden jackal, uh, found in Eastern Europe, uh, Middle East. And southern Asia, and uh, their size is uh, 24 to 52 inches, uh, 60 to 132 centimeters. 
Uh, their habitat is forest, grassland, shrublands, and savanna. Their diet is widely, you know, just they 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 like to eat small to large mammals, um, birds, fish, fruits, and insects. And their least concern, but uh, the the numbers are known, but they they estimated at least. Uh, 150k uh, that is out in the wild so there there are plenty of it all right now we got the wolf uh, there are many subspecies of the wolf throughout uh, the northern North America to uh, you know found in Eurasia in northern North America 41 to 63 inches long uh, the habitat is forest, desert, uh, rocky area, shrubland, grassland, and inland wetlands. Their diet is large undulates, uh, as well as small mammals, carrions, and berries. And their le least concern, which is about uh, 300k uh, species left. Next, we have a the genus uh, Godoctaeon, if I pronounce that right, this is the uh, the crab eating fox, and you only find this in eastern and northern South America. Their size is 20, 25 inches. Uh, the habitat is forest, savanna, shrubland, grassland, and inland wetlands. Uh, their diet is mainly of crabs and insects, as well as rodents, birds, turtles, eggs, fruits, and carrions. Uh, their least concern, which is good. Next, we got the genus Cardisoconus, and this is the main wolf. Uh, now this is the largest wolf species, or actually the tallest uh, wolf species that we have in existence. You find this in Central South America, and uh, their size is uh, 39 to 51 inches, and they found in uh, forest, wetland, grasslands, uh, shrublands, and savanna. Their diet is for many of fruits, arthropods, and small and medium vertebrates, of uh, vertebrates rather, and they are nearly threatened. Probably at least uh, seventeen thousand are left in the wild, which is amazing. <clears throat> Next, we have the genus Cyonon, which is the D hole, and you can find this in South. East Southeast Asia, and their size is uh, 35 inches, and their habitat is uh, forest, grassland, and shrublands, and their diet is undulants as well as small rodents and hares, and they are endangered. Um, and uh, there's at least a thousand to two thousand two hundred species left. Now we have the uh, the uh, is two extinct dogs, um, and uh, one is the Falkland Island wolf. Uh, basically, you can find this in Falkland Island at the tip of South America. Size is unknown, habitat is grassland and shrubland, the diet is unknown, but they got extinct. So, same thing with the uh, South American fox. Uh, Southern South America, habitat, grassland, shrubland, uh, extinct. Next, we've got the, the genus Lopoloma. So, we've got the uh, black. The, Black back jackal, which is uh, you can find this in southern Africa and eastern Africa. 
Their size is 20, 24 to 37 inches. Uh, their habitat is marine in inner tides, uh, forests, uh, desert, grassland, shrubland, and savanna. Diet, uh, small to medium sized mammals and birds, and they are least concerned. Next, we got the striped, size striped jackal found in Central Africa. And, and uh, they, let's see here, they have, sorry, their size is 27 to 32 inches. Their habitat is forest, shrublands. Uh, savanna, grasslands, and in and inland uh, wetlands. Their diet is mainly of small to medium-sized mammals and fruits, as well as birds, insects, grass, and carrion. And uh, they are least concerned, which is a good thing. Next, we have the genus Latcapulex. Uh, we have the Kalapu. You can find this in Western South America. Uh, they're 37 to 52 inches. Habitat forest, rocky areas, uh, grasslands, shrublands, and savanna. Their diet is uh, rodents and um, and as well as uh, livestock and stuff like that. Next, we got the Darwin's fox in uh, limited areas in s southern Chile. So, just around here. And um, their size is 19 to 23 inches, which is kind of small. Uh, and uh, habitat is forests and shrublands. Their diet is small mammals, insect, crabs, and fruits. They're listed uh, endangered, and there are only 600 to 2,500 2, species left. Um, yeah, it's concerning. Next, we got the herded fox. You can find this in South Central Brazil. Found, uh, their size is 19 to 28 inches. Habitat is savanna, diet is insect as well as small rodent, birds, reptiles, and fruits. Their least concern was pretty good. We got the Palmas fox. Uh, you can find this in southern South America. Their size is 20 to 29 inches. And uh, their habitat is forest shrubland and savanna. Their diet is small rodents, hares, birds, insects, and, and uh, fruits as well as carrions. Uh, next we have the Sikunin uh, fox. You can find this in the Sikun Desert in southwest Ecuador in northwest Peru. Uh, their size is 20 to 31 inches. Habitat, forest, desert, grassland, and shrubland. Their diet is fruit, seeds, as well as small rodents, birds, reptiles, insects, scorpions, and carrions. And they are nearly threatened with 15,000 left. Next, we got the South American gray fox. You can find this in southern South America. Their size is 20 to 20, 26 inches. Uh, the habitat is uh, forest, grasslands, and shrublands. Their diet is small rodents, hares, and carrions. And they're at least concerned, which is a good thing. Next, we got the genus. Lex Cananus, which is the African wild dog, or the or you can call it the African painted wild dogs. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. The common names is is just there. <coughs> it's 
scattered around of Africa existent regions in red, possibly exist region in yellow. Um, their size is 30 to 44 inches. Uh, habitat is forest, grasslands, shrublands, savanna, and desert. Died um, middle sized antelopes. They are endangered with less than 100, one, sorry, 1,400 left. Um, next, we got the genus Estrechonus, which are the bush dog, found in northern South America. Size is 22 to 30 inches. Habitat, shrubland, forest, grasslands, and savanna. Diet is small to medium mammals as well as birds, reptiles, and fruits. They are nearly threatened with less than 15,000 species left. Next, we got the genus Necrodonoris. Necrodonoris. Uh, I can't pronounce it, but. Uh, we have the common raccoon dog, which found in mainland Eastern Asia, introduced to Central and Eastern Europe. And um, yeah, and, um, and the, uh, the size is 19 to 28 inches. And habitat is uh, forest, grassland, and shrubland. Their diet. Is insects, rodents, amphibians, bird, fish, and reptiles, and fruits, nuts, and berries. You know, and most commonly, you know, it looks like a raccoon, but it's actually a dog. So that that's that's a pretty cool fe uh, feature, so that you can't be confused between a uh, a raccoon and a raccoon dog. Um, we have the Japanese raccoon dog, um, same thing, you know. Next we got the genus Otokonin, uh, which is the uh, bat-eared fox, uh, found in southern and eastern Africa. And and the uh, the size is eighteen to twenty four inches. Their habitat is uh, grassland, shrubland, and savanna. Diet is harvester termites as well as other uh, arthropods. So so this dog is a pretty much a arthropod eating dog, and these are least concerned. Which is good. Now we're getting to the foxes. This is the uh, Volvis. Um, this is the Arctic fox found in the Ar Arctic North America and Eurasia. Uh, size is 20 to 30 inches. Habitat grassland. Diet uh, luminings. Uh, as well as other rodent, birds, and reindeer, uh, they're at least concerned. We have the Bengal fox, found in India, 15 to 30 to 23 inches, uh, habitat grassland and shrublands. Their diet is anthropods, uh, rodents, reptiles, fruit, and birds. They're at least concerned. Next, we got the uh, Ben Ford fox. You can find this in the Middle East, in Central Asia. 13 to 19 inches. Habitat desert and rocky areas. Their diet is fruit and insects, and they are least concerned. We have the Cape fox, it's found in Southern Africa. Uh, 18 to 24 inches. We have 
They have the uh, the habitat is uh, rocky areas, grasslands, shrublands, and savanna. Their diet is mainly of uh, fruit and insects. They are least concerned with over uh, twenty thousand still living. We have the Corsac fox. It lives in Central Asia. Uh, we have eighteen to twenty-four inches. Habitat desert, grassland, and shrublands, diet insects and small rodents. We have the Finnick fox, one of the most famous foxes in the animal kingdom. Very, very short, uh, 13 to 16 inches. Habitat desert and marine coastal and super tide. Diet rodents, insect, birds, eggs, and rodents. They are at least Concern. I'm going to take a sip of water very quick. <clears throat> Next, we got the kit fox. You can find this in Western North America. Has 18 to 21 inches. Uh, Habitat, shrublands, savanna, and grasslands, diet, rodents, rabbits, invertebrates, birds, insects, and snakes. They're least concerned. Got the pale, the pale fox um, found in the upper middle Africa. <coughs> and they find these in, uh, sorry, their size is uh, 15 to 22 inches. They have the desert, grassland, shrubland, and savanna. Their diet is plants and berries, as well as rodents, uh, reptiles, and insects. Their least concern, which is the population of 10,000 to 1 to 100k uh, species. We have the Vakuz fox, which you can find this in. Uh, Northern Africa and the Middle East. Uh, the, their size is 14 to 22 inches. Their habitat is desert, uh, uh, shrublands, and marine coastal and subtide. And uh, diet is small mammals, lizards, birds, insects, as well as fruits. Uh, they're least concerned, which is pretty good. Next, we have the red fox. Um, you can find this in North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Uh, and uh, yeah, their size is from 24 to 28 inches. Habitat: shrublands, grasslands, inlands, uh, wetlands. Uh, forests and deserts. Diet is uh, small rodents as well as birds, larger mammals, uh, reptiles, insects, and birds. And they are least concerned. Okay, next we have the uh, the swift fox, which you can find is in western grassland of North America. Their size is 19 to 21 inches. The habitat is, a, you know, of course, grasslands. Their diet is rod, uh, rabbits, mice, ground squirrels, birds, insects, and lizards, as well as grasses and fruits, and they are least endangered. Next, we have the Tibetan fox. Uh, as you can find, it's only in the high plateaus in Nepal and western uh, China. Their size is 19 to 28 inches, and the habitat is desert, rocky areas, uh, grasslands, and shrublands. Their diet is uh, pikes, as well as carrying and other small mammals, and they're at least concerned. Next, we got the genus Your uh, Your Oak. If we have the gray fox 
found in North America and Central America. 21 to 26 inches. Habitat is uh, forests and shrublands. Their diet is rabbits, vowels, shrews, and birds, as well as uh, insects and fruits, and their least concern. And lastly, but not least, we have the island fox, which only found in the Channel Islands of California. And they're at least uh, 18 to 25 inches, have that uh, marine inner, inner tide, forest, grasslands, and swamplands. Their diet is fruit, insect, birds, eggs, crabs, lizard, and small mammals. And they're near threatened of 4,000 left. So that's all of the family of the dogs. Uh, like I said, I am a creationist. I believe that God created every single species of of uh, dogs, and that you know, you know, dogs are are pretty unique creatures. That 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 really is you know a beautiful sight to see. You know, sometimes you know one one time I saw actually a red fox. Just stumbled upon my uh, fishing ground, and uh, and yeah, you know, and he ran away thankfully. Uh, and uh, very, very interesting. And now, I do know that I think foxes are becoming more domesticated, and uh, now that there are some pros and cons to this. Uh, personally, you know, I just leave the foxes al alone. They're not pets. They're not. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we all should be, be respectful of the environment that we live in. You know, um, these are wild animals. You know, they're not pets. Um, you know, they, they either belong to zoos or natural parks um, or like a, a educational sanctuary of some sort you know you know the, these 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 animals lost the, the fear of man well I would say they, they're more afraid of us than we're afraid of them after Adam sinned against the Lord, everything changed. You know, animals come up to us with no fear. But when Adam sinned, every animal is is becoming a hostile towards us. Or, or they run away in fear instead of coming towards us. And it's sad. It's sad indeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this teaching. Uh, may God bless you. May God may God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time with another video. Bye.